All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another week of online learning. Uh, overall, week one was a pretty big success. Uh, we had a lot of new things to do, a lot of new things to cover. Um, it wasn't without, you know, hiccups and issues along the way, but I think we overcame them together, and most of you are doing a great job. Um, this week, you are going to be learning mythology. I'm sure you could figure that out based on how we ended last week with the uh, with the Quizlet Live account that I shared out. Um, what we're going to go over this week is slightly different. We're going to be studying four different creation myths from around the world at different times in history. So unit two is called creation mythology. Again, I cannot stress to you enough the importance of checking the dates of when things are due, and we'll talk about that later. But this week, this work is supposed to be done by Friday, April the 10th, no later. Okay, so we're going to have to continue discussing due dates and getting things done in a timely manner. I'm not going to go over the learning targets. You can read those yourself. Same thing with the essential questions. Um, but I do want to go over just how the HyperDoc set up. OK, there's a few things that some of you still struggle with. Um, as you can see on my screen, I have the comments that I've posted. I thought all week that you guys could see those. I'm learning just like you guys. You can't see those. Um, so what you need to remember to do, time capsule project. Let's start there because this is a big part of what you're doing every week. Um, if you didn't get three journal entries done last week, you need to do those. You need to go back and do them. Don't just start this week. Now, I want you to go back and enter them for last week. I don't care if you're making updates at this point. You need three entries per week, minimum, okay? So when you click on the assignment sheet, it walks you through how to do word count now. Uh, Nandi helped me um, realize again that you guys couldn't see my comments. So I deleted those from this document. But what I did add, if you're doing yours in Google Slides, you can now see this note here for word count. You can copy paste Google Slides into this website, uh, wordcounter.net, when you do that. Um, it enables you to see exactly how many words and characters you've used. Characters mean nothing, go by words. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this a little faster than last week. But again, you need three entries each week. Additionally, you need to interview a total a total over the entire course of three family interviews. That can be mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, whoever you got, talk to them, okay? News headlines, we already have one from last week if you did Newsella, but again, three screenshots or printouts of headlines from national or local newspapers, Newsella counts. You guys know the rest of this if you've been paying attention. Entertainment, what are you doing to keep yourself occupied? Social media. If you are or aren't on social media, you can look these up online, but look for memes or other ways that people are responding to this pandemic. They have to be appropriate for school. I've seen some really good ones that some of you have shared out. And then lastly, your creative response. Drawing a picture, writing a poem, a song, a story. Okay, those are things that you can do, but it's just kind of like um, a choice board, so to speak. But you just need to do one creative thing that represents your experience with the coronavirus crisis that we're still going through. Okay, so I'm going to close this. Again, You, if you have questions, let me know. Um, Padlet, email, whatever. Padlet's the best. Speaking of Padlet, your first new thing this week, step two, you are going to do a quick write. Just like our journals in class, guys, you guys know what I expect. Uh, I would say a minimum of a paragraph at most, you know, two or three paragraphs. Don't go overboard. Um, but this quick write on Padlet is pretty simple. It sets the tone for what we're doing with mythology. The topic says, what is your belief about the creation of the world? If you have no personal belief or you just don't know, then make up an account of how the world was created. So you can make up your own story, what you think might have happened. Now be realistic. Don't go crazy. Um, so some people might think of the Big Bang Theory, okay, where out of nothing, there was just this collision in outer space, and from that explosion came life. Uh, everything settled down and then, you know, started 
anew. Um, some people who are religious might look to the book of Genesis. They might, you know, look to their own personal beliefs on how the world came to be the way that it is. Um, you can talk about whatever you want. So you may look to religion or science or both. You can look things up online and kind of tell what you believe. Um, again, if you're telling your own story, what you would like the world to have started in, uh, you know, how you think it should have started, make sure it's plausible. Okay. Nothing too crazy or out there. Um, just be realistic. So you're going to post those here. Like always, you hit the red plus sign in the bottom right hand corner here. And when you do that, it opens up a new tile. You title it, you know, whatever you want it to be called, and then type. Um, so obviously, when it comes to typing, you want to make sure that you're being academic. You want to make sure that you are avoiding errors. Please proofread before submitting. Okay. Um, so I'm going to delete that for now. Next. Uh, and quick note, it does say here, I have administrator mode on, so I will have to approve your posts before they appear. So this could take me a little while. Don't post twice. Just be patient. Wait for me to get to it. And I'll be pretty good about checking this throughout the first couple of days as you start to turn those in. Um, next, there are four creation myths that you'll be reading this week. They're all one page PDFs. They're really short. Um, so you can open them here. I won't do that now. Um, but you can also listen to me, read them on YouTube. I have recorded all of them and put them into a playlist on YouTube. That playlist should be going live here in two hours at midnight. Um, once you are there, if you want to uh, just listen to me read them, just like we're in class, you're welcome to do that. Actually, I am going to go ahead and open up this file, though. So the four myths are... The book of Genesis. So this is just the Bible, how things began. Um, when God said, let there be light, you guys have probably heard that before. Um, so that's the first one, the one that most people will be familiar with. Then there's one about um, Napi, Napi being the old man or god of the Blackfoot Indian tribe. You also have the Ugandan tale about Kapezia Mapungu, Okay, and he had five children. It's a pretty interesting story. That's probably my favorite of the four. And then there's one called Panku. Panku is the Chinese creation tale. So what you're going to be doing with these after you read them, we're not just reading them. After you get done reading them, there's a Google form you need to fill out. Now, it looks very serious. It looks like, whoa, Garland, what did you do? But what you need to realize is it's the same 15 questions for each one of the four stories. And what I've gone ahead and done is I've made the work harder for myself and easier for you. After you read each story, it says the book of Genesis. That's the first of the four stories, if you remember. Is there one creator of men or many? Well, there's only one God according to the Bible. So you would just click one. Uh, is the creator's power supreme or shared? Go from there. Okay, and you do those 15 questions for the book of Genesis. Then you do the same 15 questions for the Blackfoot American Indian tribe. Is there one creator or many? Is the uh, power shared or supreme? Is the creator male or female? Okay, you go through all of these questions for each one of the four stories. It's not difficult. I promise you, you can do it really simply and quickly as long as you fill them out as you go. Um, but the only other part of this that you need to know, and it won't let me show you right now because these are all required questions, but there is a brief um, second section in which you need to type it, just a short essay. I'm talking a paragraph or two tops, not that big a deal. Okay, so let me just leave that. So section two is just an analysis paragraph. If you don't remember how to use races, well, shame on you. I've been teaching you all year. You should remember. But again, an analysis paragraph or two using the races model, you should be able to do that in your sleep, guys. Um, step four. This is where you guys will be just fine, um, especially Bella and Olivia. Shout out to them for destroying everyone else, myself included. 
uh, last Friday when we played Quizlet Live. Um, you can continue to review the entire list of 50 people. That's great. That'll help you throughout the course. But I want you to pay the closest attention to terms 1 through 7. So when I open this list, terms 1 through 7, we're talking... Ep mm. Let me start back at the beginning. Perhaps. Of course, it didn't just go. <laughs> All right, hold up. Gotta love live recordings. Okay, so if I click on mythology, names to know, it really doesn't want to help me here. All right. We have Gaia, Uranus, Kronos, the Hecatonchires, the Hundred Handed Giants, the Cyclops, Tartarus, and Eros. Those are the seven you need to know this week. You need to have them mastered. Okay, so I go back to this. Plus, there's a new list based off of the four stories that we're reading. You need to know your four individual creation mythology gods. So these ones aren't hard. Judeo Christian God. All right, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Napi, the old man, the god responsible for the creation in Blackfoot Indian mythology. Kabezya Mampungu, the highest god according to Ugandan mythology. He had five kids the sun, the moon, darkness, rain, and mutama, which just means heart. And lastly, Panku. According to ancient Chinese mythology, he created the world after breaking out of the chaos of the sky and earth. He was like in a giant egg. Pretty cool stuff. Weird, but cool. All right, so you need to know those four as well. And there will be a quiz at the end of the week on quizzes. And I've already assigned that. You'll see that in Google Classroom if you check that out. Um, you should check that out. But this next slide is just asking you to take that quiz, study before you take it. There are no redemption questions, and there are no second chances. Whatever you get out of 11 is what you get, okay? Once you complete it, make sure that you understand if you got any wrong, what you got wrong, so, go, so that it'll help you because you will have a final test on all the mythology uh, figures that we learned during this time, mythological figures. All right, and then closure is exactly the same as last week, except, and let me just highlight this right now even, because most people will look at it and be like, oh, he didn't change anything. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And hopefully everybody watches this video first. You now, because there are so many people who are missing steps. This is kind of for you and for me, but I included this exit slip that I need you to do. Once you think you've got everything done, complete this exit slip. Because what it is, is it's a kind of a tally to show what you got done so that you know exactly what needed to be turned in. And it shows me, like, hey, I should be looking for uh, Chloe's Flipgrid. Or I should be looking for uh, Jin Sears' News Newzella article. Okay, And speaking of Newzella, I think I've got everybody put into the correct classes finally. I had like five of you who were not where you needed to be. You just never joined for whatever reason. Um, but you can go back and complete old work. But here's what I have. It says, what assignments did you complete from module one? If you already know that you did everything you were supposed to do, just check the boxes, okay? Second module, what you're doing this week when you think you've got it done. You've added three new entries to your time capsule. You completed the Padlet journal prompt and responded to two of your peers. Let me add that to this checklist as soon as we're done here, actually. And then creation myth, worksheet, and essay. That's that giant one that I showed you that's just checking boxes, uh, clicking from the drop-down menu. Don't become, you know, frightened by work. It's really not that hard. And then lastly, creation mythology quiz on quizzes. What I'm asking of you, it's it's four or five different things, depending on how you look at it, um, including this exit slip. But it's really, as long as you set your mind to it, I know that if I were in your guys' shoes, I'd have this done maybe by Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm planning light. I don't want you to go, you know, 
too far down the rabbit hole, so to speak, having to do too much work. But anyways, check these boxes. There will be a couple new ones because I'm going to review this and add to it. Uh, but then these last few questions are just simple for me to see what you guys are going through. Uh, what has been your greatest issue so far? Or if you have multiple issues, let me know. What are you really enjoying? And what could be improved? That's just reflective teaching, reflective uh, reflective nature on you guys' part, getting better at being students, um, especially as we start something brand new like online learning. And that's really pretty much it, except I do want to just touch on this real quick, office hours. I have been making myself available every single day throughout the first week. What I'm asking of you guys is, other than when we met on Friday for the round of Quizlet that we did, most people are not taking advantage of this. I have seen four people total, and they were all on the same day. Okay, and I helped them very briefly, and it was nice and productive. And then I actually showed them how to use uh, Google Meet for their own personal use so that they could talk about, you know, what they were going through and getting work done. And it's been pretty productive when it has been put to use. So I will be putting in a link for Monday, tomorrow morning. Um, Try to take advantage of it. If you need anything from me and you really think that face-to-face -face communication is better than sending an email, let me know. Just click the link. I'll be, I'll have it open from 1.30 till 2.30 every day. Um, every once in a while it won't work out and I will update the times, but I will be available every day for at least an hour. Okay, um, that pretty much finishes up what I have to say for this unit. Make sure you... Um, make sure you like the video on YouTube where I'm going to post this. Um, if we get to, let's say 45 likes this week, I will, based off of your guys' feedback, most people are saying do it every week. Um, I'll probably do Thursday this week. We'll do a review game because I want you to have the quiz done, the 11 question quiz done by Friday. So that's my goal. Um, again, I hope that I have done enough to help you by making this video. But again, if there's any questions when it comes to the time capsule, missing assignments, why the assignments are going in is missing, just let me know and I will do my best to help you. All right, good luck this week. Uh, see most of you guys hopefully on Thursday. Bye-bye.